uh, you just mentioned Jim Lampley is getting kind of long in the, long in the long tooth in the and kind of biased. Can you elaborate on that? Long in the eagle, too. Uh, you know, Jim Jim is excellent at what he does. He's going to go as a Hall of Fame great commentator. But Larry Merchant got let go because of some reason. And I just think, you know, uh, when great horses, you know, are, aren't winning the races, you know, you put them down to pasture. Uh, that's a that's a that's a bad way of saying it but i think jim's getting a little bit too biased and i know i shouldn't be saying that but he shit on me and it took me forever to get out of that that mountain of shit that he buried me with and um you know but he's he's great at what he does in a hall of famer does it bother you that he calls fights the way he does a lot of people were complaining about like you said the biasness is, is that how bad is that for the sport and when does it need to stop it needs to stop, man, because, you know, for the for the average fan, they don't really understand what they're seeing. They're pretty much going on what they're being told. That's why guys like Pauli Malignaggi, who I just who I think is amazing. He's, he's the best in the business. This guy brings to even if it's a, a fight where there's not much action, Pauli will bring it to life. He'll bring it to colors, what to watch. That's what a fighter sees. That's what we see when we watch a fight. That's what I saw with Ward. But it takes a guy like Pauli Malignaggi to bring it to life. Jim Lampley, I just think articulates it well he doesn't bring it to life anymore max kellerman brings it to life and jim lampley articulates it with his voice his animation and his articulation but he's not seeing what we're seeing anymore how do you get away with it he's jim lampley he's 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 the best at what he does but i just think he's becoming a little bit too opinionated and biased to guys that are professionals that have been doing this their entire lives and and you're you're demeaning what we worked all our lives for and and sometimes even Max checks them. Like, oh, wait a minute, Jim. So that's why I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pay a lot of respect to Max Kellerman as well. He's awesome at what he does. Did you, did you get a chance to hear Stephen A. Smith do his first fight with? Uh, tell me what you thought of Stephen A. Smith. Uh, man, I, I was with a lot of the boxing fans and 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 the typical uh, uh, fighters and, and a lot of the fighters. He's trying. He's trying to bring that 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 Sports Center excitement to a sport that doesn't is not used to it yet, at least. Uh, but what he says is great. Uh, in, in boxing, you want to really keep down your opinion. When I've done commentating and I give too much of my opinion, I get hate. So I realize there has to be an, an even an, an even thing. Credit, no credit. Credit, no credit. You can't really take sides. And you can't really give your own opinion. So you got to keep it neutral. And I think uh, that's what Stephen A. Smith needs to realize. Keep it neutral. Not too much of, of his sports center thing. Like what he does on ESPN. So obviously, when you put down the gloves, that's obviously going to be one of your full-time jobs is commentating fights. Hey, listen, man. I, I don't know what I'm going to be Al doing. Al Heyman and Poison's own. Hey, Al Heyman's a man, I'll tell you that. So if he calls, I'll, I'll answer. But uh, I would love to do anything involving with boxing. This is what I spent 20 years of my life with. Anything I can do in boxing, that's what I'm going to do.